name is Avishai Noroplansky. Uh, I'm the co-founder, the CTO of the Leo Wheel from Israel and the inventor of the Kaplu technology. Um, so you were telling me that the, uh, the, the tires might be available to farmers within a year? Um, yeah, something like that, yes. Okay. Um, would, would they be in the Canadian market? Probably, yes. Okay. Why would a farmer be interested in choosing these tires? Because this tire, in a nutshell, um, has the well, the simplicity and the integrity of a tire with uh, most of the properties of a track. In some some areas, you may say even better properties than a track. Um, it's round and black, goes on a standard trim. It's manufactured in a standard uh, manufacturing procedure of tires, same machinery, same raw materials. Um, Yet, the finished product uh, allows for a significantly bigger and better type of footprint, longer footprint. Um, it disconnects the correlation between ride comfort and lateral stability no more. So you could go with very low pressure, even with no air at all, uh, if necessary, um, without losing any lateral stability, any steering ability. Um, in a matter of fact, these tires are stiffer laterally um, with no air at all than uh, the equivalent standard tire fully inflated. Um, so this allows to really reduce the pressure. Uh, not only that, the um, quality of the footprint, and if you go to scroll to our website at www.galileowheel.com, you could see um, how it does it, but the quality of the footprint is such that not like normal tires when you deform them too much, um, they will show you a nice footprint when you look at it from the side, but actually underneath, if you would look at it from the ground perspective, you'd see kind of buckling in, and um, the normal tire at some point will no longer distribute the load evenly across the footprint, while this one uh, does. Now, if you compare the footprint size, uh, you see it is bigger, but if you compare the drawbar properties, you see it's even bigger um, because of the quality of the footprint. More lugs are, are, are in contact, in good contact with the soil. Um, so you get more drawbar, less ground pressure, less soil compaction. Um, and not only that, one of the significant thing that and very noticeable thing about this tire for any user that will attempt to drive any vehicle with these tires is the feeling, is the ride comfort. The damping properties of this tire are simply different from the, any normal tire. You could see a good demo for that in our website. Um, and that ride comfort apply obviously to the driver, to the operator, to the spinal cord of the operator, but it uh, as well apply to the spinal cord of the machine, which contain bearings, pins, nuts, rods, etc. Um, and all, the, all that ride comfort issue uh, would influence the uh, maintenance cycling of any machine. But not only that, the vibration also has to do a lot with soil compaction. Because everybody knows, um, you know, if you have a sugar, you try to fit into a jar, and it doesn't fit, you bang, you, you, you rock the jar a little bit, give it a few good hits, and all of a sudden you have more space, right? So this is soil compaction, this is grain compaction. Now, the, the frequency of the bumping of uh, normal tires, not to say tracks, which is sometimes even worse, uh, will, will, will cause um, that kind of soil compaction, which is eliminated or reduced significantly by using these tires. Um, so altogether, you get better ride, bigger footprint, lower soil compaction, better drawbar, higher stability, and sort of a run flat ability. I mean, it's not like it's a run, it's an airless tire because it's not. It's pneumatic tire. I mean. You know, we keep one tire open here because people see this shape, cannot believe that 
that this is not a not a full rubber tire. It's not. They don't understand that it is a pneumatic tire because of the shape of it. But that's what it is. Nevertheless, if it loses the air, it can limp home. I mean, if you have a puncture in the middle of this, the field, you can go to a place where you can fix it. You don't have. You don't. You don't get stuck in the middle of. I don't know, sugarcane uh, plantation or, or cornfield or something that could be very um, unpleasant to, to fix. And another interesting thing about uh, this tire, if you can come around, you know, if you look at the tire, this is what we need from the tire, right? This is the thread, this is the engagement, this is the interface between the tire and the soil. Now, if, if that would be a normal tire, definitely inflated to a low pressure, to a field condition, you would see the sidewall is bulging out. Now, side, sidewall bulging out means that the total width of the whole machine is bigger than the functional width that is necessary. Um, outside, obviously, but also inside. I mean, if you look toward the inside of the machinery, of the tractor, uh, if the tire is bulging in or bulging out towards the machine, it could hit all kinds of elements in the machine. Here, you see that the functional width of the tire is the wider, widest place on the tire, everything goes in. So it is very unlikely to get a puncture on the sidewall, and as you may know, a puncture or a slit in the sidewall would uh, often mean actually total loss of the tire, which may be very expensive tire. And here it simply won't happen. Um, so I think just, you know, Real quick, this is what it's all about, and you can, uh, as I mentioned, see more in our website and feel free to contact us. Very good, I see you have it on a high horsepower tractor here. Um, any indication of how many hours you can, you can have on this in this kind of uh, situation? Okay, so when you are making a tire, there is a very uh, straightforward way how do you test the tire. There is an endurance drum, it has to pass certain hours on the laboratory, and that indicates the hours on the field. Uh, it's kind of accelerating the, the, the wear out of the tire. Um, and all we do with this tire, all we design and uh, uh, is, is complied with the, all the standard ISO tests and other standard tests that uh, uh, required. So first of all, we begin with um, fulfilling all the requirements of any tire in terms of endurance, load, stability, etc. And we just add on top of that. So even uh, for durability, we're doing the minimum plus a significant amount of hour. Um, you know, it's kind of um, easy to explain that. I mean, if that if that my hand would be at the, the cross section of a sidewall of a normal tire, the deformation is from here to here, roughly. This is the this is what it does during the this is the fatigue, this is the energy, this is the what eventually might kill the tire. But when you look at this sidewall, it's something like this. It's an accordion shape. So actually, it is capable of uh, uh, more uh, f uh, flexibility. Uh, that's why we, we uh, can achieve these, these results. Um, I, I know you're not to market yet, but any idea what the price point will be? The price would be higher than a premium, um, but way less than a, than a track system. Okay, so uh, it is a heavier tire. I mean, there is more sidewall. Um, it is more complex a little bit, uh, so it will be more expensive than, than, than uh, existing tires, but again, way, way less than, than tracks.